we call them coping strategies. They are coping with whatever that's happening. And adaptation would be taking the coping strategies to another new level. The PAC project is basically about reducing vulnerability to climate change and uh, increasing resilience. Eh? We talk about a very broad regional program involving 14 countries. Uh, this is the first systematic uh, regional approach to climate change adaptation in the Pacific that, that is multi-layered with regional activities, particular national tailored activities including both the national policy level uh, activities and all the way down to the grassroots level to the communities. Uniquely diverse and fragile, Pacific Island countries and territories are aware that adapting to current and anticipated climate changes is crucial to achieving sustainable development in the face of rising sea levels, extreme changes in rainfall patterns, ocean acidification and the myriad negative follow-on impacts caused by these changes. The objective of the PAC project is to enhance the capacity of participating countries to adapt to these climate changes in key development sectors. Food production and food security, coastal zone management, and water resource management. Pilot demonstration activities will deliver adaptation benefits in the form of practical experiences and the planning and implementation of response measures that reduce vulnerability. In the water sector, these activities include capturing and storing groundwater, reducing wastage in household water stores, and the introduction of self-composting toilets. To secure food supplies, climate resilient crop varieties are being developed and introduced in conjunction with agricultural techniques that best suit local challenges. Aquaculture in some areas will reduce risk through diversifying sources of food. To increase the resilience of the coastal zone to rising sea levels, a combination of hard and soft measures are being implemented, such as seawalls and revegetation. This is complemented by educating local communities about the crucial role natural buffer zones such as reefs, wetlands and forests play in protecting the coastline against inundation. The lessons learned in this project will be able to be shared not only at the regional level but at the global level and we scale up in our adaptation effort. The project will also help to identify larger scale investment opportunities for multilateral banks supporting countries with climate change adaptation. It's going to have some impact also on our ability as island states to be able to negotiate much harder uh, for adaptation funds, to be able to demonstrate results on the ground. And we are hoping very much therefore that PAC will provide that basis to demonstrate key results. We try and build the capacity at the institutional level of national governments, particularly in the area of policy work, to try and see how we can better respond to climate change. They don't know what climate change is, or they don't know what to do about it. So we have to build on that, we have to build that up. Strengthen institutions to effectively take this on board as a government obligation to the people. Results and lessons from all 14 Pacific Adaptation to Climate Change projects will be shared regionally and globally. This information will help integrate long-term climate change risks into coastal management, food production and water resource management. By identifying future risks and turning systemic problems into long-term solutions, PAC is helping people adapt to climate change.